Good evening. It's time once again for the Barry Bird Show. With guest host Swami. And here's Swami. <sighs> Hi, kids. Barry asked me to fill in tonight because he's out inspecting new broadcast towers that he might buy for station QBBS TV. So without further ado, RoboCam, will you please cut to Barry so that I can get back to my meditation session before I lose my 20 bucks? Yes, Swami, I hear and I obey. Thanks, Swam. But to tell you the truth, I'm not really in tennis shopping. I just couldn't come up with any new material for tonight's show. So I thought I'd come out here to do some thinking. Boy, I sure do wish I could come up with an idea for this show. Wow. Hey, man, where did you come from? Have no fear, Barry. Idea Man is here. Idea Man. By day, he's an ill-mannered hardware clerk at Big L Surplus. Hiya, folks. What can I do you for? But by night, he transforms into Idea Man with superpowers that allow him to make suggestions to citizens like you and me, whether we want them or not. Well, uh, uh, actually, I was... Hey, Bear. I heard you was in trouble. And you see, I'm kind of an idea man, so I'm here to help you out. I know you're stuck for material, so just let me try this idea out on you. So you're driving down the highway, and there's that annoying person driving for miles with his left turn blinker on. You following me? Loud and clear. So he makes sure that everyone's driving with their left single on. Huh? See what I mean? Problem solved. So uh, what happens if the first guy decides to drive with his right turn blinker on? Yeah, well, uh, hey, how's about a couple of classic jokes? Nah, I don't think... Yeah, listen, this one's a real corker. Okay, here goes. Joke number one. Have you heard about the rabbit? Huh? Huh? It's only a short tail. Get it? Yeah, like an ulcer, I got it. Look, I just... So, Bear, you ever wonder why Uncle Sam wears red, white, and blue suspenders? Nah, I don't think... I'll tell you why. So's to keep his pants up. Funny stuff, huh? And I'm just getting started. Clean up in aisle three, hardware. Repeat, clean up in aisle three, hardware. Whoops. Oh, they're paging me back at Big Al's. Duty calls, gotta go. But I'll come back and see you soon, Bear. Promise. Uh, no thanks, idea man. Oh, boy. And speaking of Big Al's, I think now would be a really super time for a commercial. Hiya, kids. Big Al. And with school starting up again, you'll all be looking for some new clothes. And if I got something for you... Ta-da! Leisure suits are back, and Big Al's got them. Look at this. Sailor suits? Uh-uh. They're out, Phil, man. But just think about what the other kids in school will say to you when you show up in this full Cleveland leisure suit. You'll be the talk of the town. Mr. Boo. Oh, he's fresh. Very stylish. Class. Swinger. And parents, don't worry. We haven't left years out either. Look at this merchandise. 100% Dacron polyester. And you know, Dacron is the top of the mark in leisure suit construction. So bust a move and boogie on down to Big Al's at 4th and Larchmont. I'll be waiting for you. Hi folks, something came up and I had to fly back to the studio in a hurry. So once you finish reading this note, we'll cut back to QBBS TV in 3, 2, 1, and cut. Hey everyone, we got a letter from Virgil Fuss's attorney and it looks like he's suing the Barry Bird Show for $180 billion and 45 cents for allegedly being roughed up by Chief De Niro and Gino during our last show. Oops! Did I do that? Oops! Hey, get your stinking paws off of me, you punk! Ow! Dead ought to hold him! Err, uh, 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 power is restored. You'll be hearing from my lawyer! It says here he's claiming loss of income, pain and suffering, and whiplash. Hmm, that loss of income thing is pretty funny, considering the guy's been retired for years. Hey, I heard that crack about me not working, Buster. So just for that, 
I'm expanding my lawsuit to include Station QBBS, the town of Toaster City, the Greenback Indian Nation. Why, that little punk, er, uh, uh, that is much wampum for tribe to raise. The state of Nevada, the U.S. government, and the planet Earth for defamation of character. So, Mr. Bird, you can put that in your pipe and smoke it. Has anybody got a light? By order of the planet Earth, plaintiff Virgil Fuss, defendant Barry Bird, LLC, and everyone else in the world, Mr. Bird is to cease and desist any broadcasting of The Barry Bird Show from this date forward until litigation between all parties is resolved and or settled. Any violation of this order will result in additional fines being levied on all defendants as listed above. Signed, Binghamton Q. Fuss, Esquire. No relation to plaintiff. Seriously, we're not related. Really, we're not. Well, that's it for tonight, folks. See you in court. Wow, what a great show. We hope you enjoyed your evening with Barry Bird. Please tune in again next week. Uh -huh. Gotcha. That'll be an extra $38,000 for that little slip up. Well, good night, folks. And remember, don't be a scofflaw. Thank <laughs> you.